Hey everyone, so today I am doing my New Year's Eve Get Ready With Me video. I was getting ready with friends in my room, so if you wonder who I'm laughing with and talking with or who's in the background, it's just a couple of my mates. So we just decided to have a really chill New Year's Eve at my place. We did some food, some platters, and you know, some cocktails and things. So I hope you guys all had a really good New Year's Eve. I did. It was just so relaxing and really fun just spending it with people that I love, all my friends and everything. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this little get ready with me. So first off, I am beginning by pinning back my hair and I'm going to prime. I tried out this Pony Effect Radiance Glow Hydrating Starter Primer. Oh my gosh, it's such a mouthful, but it worked really nicely. It kind of reminds me of strobe cream, but like mixed with like a moisturizer or something. And then for my foundation, I'm using an angled face brush and my Too Faced Born This Way and Warm Nerd. I love this foundation. The color is perfect for me when I'm fake tanned and it's just so easy to blend. It lasts all day. It looks so, so flawless. I've been using Using it so often lately. Once my foundation is done, I'm going to conceal. I tried out this one for the first time. I don't really know what I think about it just yet because this was the first time I used it. It didn't like blow me away, but it wasn't bad either, so I'll keep trying it out. But the consistency was really nice, um, and I'm just blending that out with the same brush. And uh, yeah, gotta get rid of those dark under eyes. They are never fun. <laughs> and then to kind of conceal them a little bit more because they're kind of terrible right now, I'm using some Well Rested by Bare Minerals. And this brush here is coming out very soon with XO Beauty, but it's got a different handle because this was just my little sample. And then for my powder, I'm just using my normal one, Studio Fix Powder. This brush is also coming out really soon. So keep an eye out on the XO Beauty website. I'm so excited. They're out like any day now if they're not out already. I don't know. Depends when I upload this video. <laughs> I was really stoked at how flawless my skin came out today. I don't know why it did, but I'm not complaining. Um, and then next I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm putting this kind of on my cheeks just above where I'm going to contour my jaw, my nose, my forehead, just to, you know, bronze, as I said, as you do. I've been using this Parquet Princess quite frequently lately by Tarte. I don't know, I really like the color. It's quite warm. It just really, really does bronze your skin. And then for my highlighter, I'm using this color by Makeup Geek. This is so pretty. My friends all loved it as well. It's kind of like a duochrome, like, what would I say? Like gold and pink or something like that. You can kind of see in this lighting here better. I turned down my exposure because the sun came out of the clouds and I didn't really notice. Um, but yeah, it's really, really beautiful, really fun. Um, it's duochrome without being too crazy, you know, for daily wear. I really like it. Um, and I'm just kind of dousing my entire face in this because I just really wanted to glow today. You know, New Year's, you want to glow. And then for my brows, I'm just using my normal stuff I've been using lately. Cabral and Gimme Brow by Benefit, shade 3. Um, I cannot get enough of these brow products. Like, I don't know. I just keep going back to them. I love them so much, especially Gimme Brow. Um, I'm about to run out of this. I need to get a new one. Now for the eye makeup, I'm doing something really random. I just felt like playing around a little bit. So I'm starting with a round eye brush and creme brulee by Makeup Geek, I think it is. And I'm just kind of applying this quite heavily into the crease or just above the crease really, just to really warm up the color a lot. And then I'm going to take a slightly darker color next and you know, douse my eyes in there as well. But I'm using a fluffier blendy brush this time just to kind of diffuse the color a little bit more and make it a little bit more soft. I am doing a couple of layers of this as well just to really make it quite dark and deep and I ended up making it even darker later but I'll show you then. And then I'm taking this really pale like peachy color on my eyelid just using a short shadow brush um, just to kind of clean up the eyelid a little bit and just I don't know bring it together a little bit better. It's just like a really simple color but it makes it look so much nicer I think. And then here's the darker color I'm using by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This eyeshadow is out of this world. It is so beautiful. I'm just using this tiny brush. I'm kind of developing this at the moment, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I really like it for detail work. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm applying that in a kind of wing shape on my eye and then just softly blending it out a little bit using a firm blender brush um, just till it looks nice and soft. And I'm sorry for saying I'm um, a million times. This is the first voiceover I've filmed in a while, you know, since before Christmas and stuff. And oh God, it's difficult, you guys. I'm struggling a little bit. I need to get back into my rhythm. 
Anyway, now I'm using a silver eyeliner. I love this one, but you've got to kind of be careful not to use too many layers, which you're very tempted to do, obviously, to get an opaque color. But you can kind of get this really thick, chunky finish if you go too thick. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. And then I'm just going back in with my little brush and kind of darkening up above that line. I just felt like doing it. I ended up adding some more color later on. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of pink glitter right on top of that silver. I don't know, it was just like an impulse step. I just saw it sitting there and I was like, I want to put some of this on. I don't know if I like it that much, but hey, it happened. Next up, I'm going to brighten up my eyes with this, what is, I was going to say L'Oreal, no, Rivlon, no, Rimmel, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Exaggerate eyeliner, this is my favourite nude eyeliner, and then I'm going to put on some false lashes, these are the Gold Digger. Because I'm not wearing like a dark eyeliner, I'm wearing that silver eyeliner, I'm taking a lot of care, spending a little bit more time just to get them really, really, really close to my natural lashes because you don't want any gaps. And then my mascara today is going to be one of my all-time favorites at the moment, Sumptuous Knockout by Estee Lauder. Just packing that on top and bottom. Next up on my inner corner, I'm going to start out with that highlighter I used on my face. And then I'm going to pack on a metallic eyeshadow right on top of that. Just, yeah, in that inner corner. Now I'm going back to my face quickly, I'm just going to contour, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Duo, I'm just under my cheekbones with my bronzer brush. Now on my lips, I am using Westy Lip Liner by Colourpop and this Lipland Spotlight Liquid Lipstick on top just for like a pinky kind of nude lip. Just something that complements that silver eyeliner nicely and I figured it kind of went with that pink glitter I put on on top of it as well. So yeah, hopefully it kind of all came together. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more drama on my cheekbones, so I added just a little bit more contour powder with my face to find a brush. Next is where I mentioned briefly earlier I made my out of ear a little bit darker, just made the eye makeup a little bit darker. I felt like I needed to make it darker just to balance out that silver liner. It needed a little bit extra, you know what I mean? And also I felt like the lashes were not enough. I was going to just add another separate lash band, but I decided to add some little kind of cluster lashes. These are by Urban Decay. I completely forgot to show you the packaging, so I'll list them down below with a link so you can have a look at them. I really like them. They're super dramatic. I kind of wish I went over the lash band with black eyeliner because you can kind of see it, but oh well. Um, I'm happy that I added more lashes though. I feel like it kind of balanced out the liner, like I said, a little bit better. Anyway, that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup. I really liked it. It was a little bit, you know, glam and fun for New Year's without being too over the top with too much glitter. I just felt like doing something semi-simple. It's not really simple though, let's be honest. But you know what I mean? I didn't feel like doing hard out glitter or anything like that. And I wanted my eye makeup to look a little bit light still. Anyway, now to the outfit. This necklace here is from Glassons, and then my play suit is from White Fox Boutique. And then the shoes I am wearing are from Ruby Shoes slash like Cotton On. They're like the pink satin ones. They're super cheap, but really comfy and, you know, let's be honest, I didn't actually wear the shoes because I was just at home and I wore bare feet the whole night. But anyway, that's just what I wore. Super casual. If you're wondering how I covered up my uh, nips, you know, nipple covers, they're the best because otherwise they would have been hanging out of this thing. Anyway, bye! <laughs> Thank you.